Today we're taking a look at this new Power Horse 4500 watt generator with 3500 rated watts and 57 dB that we're going to test that later. But first we got to get this out of the box. And the first thing you notice, it doesn't come with a whole lot except a little toolkit and a funnel. We'll get that out of the way along with it looks like a manual. And then we'll go ahead and lift this up out of the box so we can start getting this set up and take a look at this new generator. So inside this package, they don't actually include any oil, which we will have to add. So we'll go through that in a minute. And then we'll also go through these new features. And again, this is basically all you'll see inside the box is that manual and toolkit. But as we take a look at what's new, like this new start stop button, and then they did still include the economy switch and some new USB ports, which is 2.1 and one amp. And then if you look over, there's just a little reset button here, along with a 20 amp plug and they did add a new 30 amp RV plug which is nice for the RV guys out there but I would have liked to have seen some weather protection caps like the USB ports or the parallel ports as well because it just keeps the dirt out. And then you have your selector switch which has your choke and on button and your display which happens to show two hours on it. Why? I'm not sure because it doesn't look like it's been ran unless it did the break in. So we'll go ahead and we'll pop off this side panel now and we're going to go ahead and add the oil. They have that oil window but I find this is just easier because you have more room. And if you're familiar with the other generator, this one is almost exactly the same. The oil drain procedure is exactly the same with a little drain port. And we'll get about 0.63 quarts of oil. And when you guys go to get the oil to fill this up, don't overthink it. You just need the correct weight and the correct API standard. And now I got about 0.5 because what happens is a lot of times these generators, they will actually come with a little bit of oil in it. So you want to check it. Because if you end up putting in the full correct amount, you'll end up overfilling it right off the bat. So it's always good to put in less and then come back and get a little bit more if you need it. And so after you add all the oil to know that it's full, all you have to do is really look at the threads. If the oil is halfway up the threads or even all the way to the top, you're perfectly good to go. You can go ahead and reinstall your dipstick or if you want to check it that way you can. But then just go ahead and reinstall it. Your oil check is done. And now we can go ahead and move on in the next step like getting rid of this tag and then we'll go ahead and put our side panel back on and then we'll reinstall each screw that is on each side and we can go ahead and move on to the next step which we're going to just go ahead and hook up that battery real quick so we'll remove the battery door and this only has one screw and then after that we'll take off this strap and as you can see this is actually not a lithium battery which a lot of the new generators are coming with one which i would have liked to have seen that because they are a lot lighter but you know an agm battery is actually a lot better than a lead acid battery they just hold up well to discharge rates and charge rates better so you don't have to worry about it dying off so quick and they just last longer in general so we'll go ahead and continue hooking up the battery by hooking up this negative cable first and then we'll do the positive positive. and one thing you want to take note is don't over torque these bolts because you can't actually strip the little nuts they're not that strong so just get them nice and snug they do have a lock washer and then put on your little weather protection caps and stuff then we'll go ahead and reinstall this battery back inside the compartment and then when you do put this in there make sure that you don't kink those wires up against anything metal in the back if at least you can see it and we'll reinstall the battery door and then we can move on to getting some gas in this thing and get it fired up and see what it sounds like. And when you guys are fueling up your generator, regular fuel works fine. There's no reason to run premium as it's not gonna give you any benefit, but there is a good idea of running a fuel conditioner or either some kind of fuel stabilizer. It just will help you in the long run. And if you guys like the video, definitely smash that like button for me. I would definitely appreciate it. We'll go ahead and continue getting this guy set up. We'll fire it up now and turn this all the way over to the choke position. We'll make sure the economy switch is off. And there it goes, fires up let this warm up for just a second and we'll go over the features of this little dash display so this will show you your volts your amps also your watts the amount of runtime as far as service hours and then also to give you an estimated runtime that way if you have maybe two gallons of gas in it with a 1500 watt load it might say you have four hours left at that particular runtime with that load and if you guys are familiar with the old generator and also the popular red one well, this wheel lock is also still kind of annoying. They really didn't change it much. This would have been something nice to have changed or updated a little bit more because you can see it just kind of rattles. And as you walk around the generator, well, you can actually hear it the whole time. It's actually louder than the generator itself. But you can find all kinds of DIY videos to fix that little wheel lock or to make it quieter. So, but we'll go ahead and move on. We're gonna put this in the economy switch and then we'll basically go outside and do some testing, some sound checks and a little bit of a load test just to kind of show you what it sounds like under load as well. So 
One thing I do want to show you is that look at all the smoke and ash that's out here. I have fires that are burning 360 degrees all the way around me. Currently, I'm safe, but it does make the weather and, you know, some of the filming conditions a little bit hard because it changes the color so much. But we'll continue on anyway. I put the generator at 23 feet away, and this is how I've been doing a lot of my testing now. It's very consistent, so it definitely helps. You can see the chalk line down there, but we're running right around 59 and a half decibels, maybe almost 60 with the eco off. And then we'll go ahead and turn it on. And then we're gonna do a load test as well and do another sound check. That way you guys can see what it sounds like under quarter load. So now as you can see, as it's running down there in the economy mode, and look how much quieter it is now. So I wanna show you guys another method of making your generator quieter here in just a minute or two as well, but we'll do the load test first so what we're going to do is we're going to use this heat gun and this heat gun will use about 750 watts of power on the low setting and about 1500 watts on the high and so we'll play we'll press a little button here and i'll kind of show you guys we'll turn this on and then as we look at the display up here so this is using about six amps of power and about 740 watts and 850 would be more of a true quarter load but this will still give us some good information to go off of and they do most of their testing at a quarter load and you can find out all kinds of information like that and more at our sponsor at generator bible if you guys haven't been here before click on the link down below where you can find over 500 generators to choose from including best sellers not to mention the new products or if you want to look at a certain brand they have 26 that you can choose from not to mention they have filters to help you narrow down your search for the size generator that you happen to be looking for and then you can go ahead and click on the link to get all kinds of other information including price comparison tools not to mention all the specs and information about that particular generator and comparison charts or maybe you want to compare two generators side by side that way you can figure out all the differences to help you make a better decision so go ahead and check out generator bible so we'll go ahead and start finishing off our testing now and so we're going to do this quarter load basically this is going to be that heat gun at 750 watts and so remember it was showing 57 on the box but this is still pretty accurate and still pretty close because there's always a little room for error between what i'm doing and maybe how they tested it but I want to show you guys if you add some grass or maybe some gravel back there besides concrete this will actually make the generator a lot quieter so when you see testing done on the grass it kind of gives a false reading in a way because you're adding elements that change it we're even going to test at the same footage though at 23 feet and so in, instead of being at 60 decibels look at it now we're actually looking at a 10 db drop just by adding grass and adding the gravel kind of behind us and such so this just kind of gives you another perspective of when you're looking at generators and other people are doing reviews but we'll go ahead and do that same quarter load just to give you guys an idea because when people use their generators they put them usually on either some dirt maybe a piece of plywood and so that kind of will change the way that these sound a little bit so we'll do that same test and so with the generator running with the heat gun on a quarter load basically so it was at about 50 decibels now we're maybe 51 so that just kind of gives you guys a different idea of how much quieter it is when you do add something like some grass or the gravel but i hope you guys did like the video and be sure to smash that button and make sure you stick around for the comparison between these two guys coming up real soon and until then i hope to see you guys next time